Don't make life easy for your kids. Because out there is not easy. You see, kids are in your hands to program. The failure of your kids are traceable to you, trust me. A wealthy thinker creates wealth. A wealthy mindset can never be poor. The worst mistake you can ever make is to give money to a poor-minded individual. When somebody is poor in his mind, don't give one cent. That person will, he will, he will mess the entire money up and start to, to complain. It was the devil. Hello my family of Last the Bones in Christ, you're most welcome back to this channel so in today's video we are going to discuss something that we should learn and to put it into action. Yes, our spiritual leaders, they are here to help us to walk in the directions of God and the commands of God and also they are the perfect examples for us to follow and to copy their lifestyle because they are the representatives of Christ for us. Why am I saying so? I know lately I've been sharing the testimonies of the born servant of Christ. Even in our previous video we discussed the testimony of the vision that the Lord showed to Pastor John Anosiki about his family even before when he got married. That testimony was telling us to stay active in the spirit so that we download everything that happens in the spirit. And for today's testimony, we are going to learn how to bring up a child in the right way. As the born servant of Christ, Pastor John speaks of how he deals with his children at home. We should also learn that and we bring our children in the right way. So in this video, we are actually going to learn a lot of things. So let us first start with this one. So like the video as we are getting started. A wealthy thinker creates wealth. A wealthy mindset can never be poor. Poverty is not about how much you have in your account. You know, sometimes I'm looking for two or three people that are wealthy, that don't have money, that I want to give money to. The worst mistake you can ever make is to give money to a poor-minded individual. When somebody is poor in his mind, don't give one cent. That person will, he will, he will mess the entire money up and start to, to complain. It was the devil. <laughs> devil? <laughs> devil? Before I can give my resources into your hand, I must rate your mentality. I want to rate your mind. Who are you? Once money comes into your hands, the next thing you, you think is what to spend, what, you know, what to buy. You don't think of how do I increase the value of this money? How do I expand $10 to $20? That's a person that is wealthy. If, if you look at resources in your hand and you don't think of how to increase the value, then you're poor. The moment you look at resources and you think of what to spend it on, you're very poor. Well, in fact, that's why you are where you are. Because if I'm to trust your life for, for the past 15 years or 10 years, you actually had a lot of money in your hands that you wasted. You wasted those resources. I don't care how born again you are. If you don't have financial security, you're in trouble. In fact, you are, you are at the verge. You will always be at the verge sometime in your life of losing your faith due to financial crisis. God wants us. In fact, the Bible spoke of money far more than he speaks of eternal life. So money ought to be studied. Christians must study about money. You see, because, it's, you see, the reason why life is difficult right now, they're making life so difficult for righteous people. It is not that they're asking you to deny your Christ, but they are controlling the system and the system is becoming more ungodly, more unbearable to believers. The whole target is to influence your faith and cause you to compromise financially and lose your faith. So if we don't think business and start, create and start to manage our resources carefully, I'm not saying you should dump. And the problem also is, after I'm done with this lesson, I don't have time for church anymore. I'll go get money. So that's the problem of Christians. You've already messed up. You're finished. So you must take time. It will take you what? Time. Don't lose. I'm not trying to preach for you to lose your faith in pursuit of money. No. These three inheritance are important 
They work together. They complement one another. Don't say, oh, okay, okay, I'll focus on genetic remodification. And then you lose on family business, family, you know, financial security. That must be generational. God wants you to ensure that every party in the family receives your Christ, receives Christ and your God, and you discipline yourself, walk in holiness and righteousness, pray, have a, a habitual prayer life, okay, where which will be captured in your genetics. You transfer, you 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 deploy a godly heritable heritage to your next generations and then family business that is capacitated to stand for the next three, three or I mean the third generations. Go after this service. If you're watching a, register a business, go just, just retrieve, go into your secret room. Think of where you're skilled, where your passion is. Ask the Holy Spirit, what's the business in my spirit? What is it that my spirit is saying? Register a company. Learn businesses. Get a mentor. Get exposed to the business world. Read books on business. Listen to those. I mean, get to know what's going on in the market industry. So, all right, that was the beautiful message that the Lord wanted to pass across to us so that we learn and understand and to put it into action. And that message was passing through his born servant, Pastor John Anosike. So, as I said in the beginning of this video, that we actually have a lot of things to discuss in this video. I believe that was part A of the video. We are going to part B of the video. So, let us watch, listen, learn copy and put it into action i believe a lot of people who are watching this video right now they have children who need advice on how to bring up a child in the right way this message is actually connected to the previous one this is the example i call it the confirmation of the message that we have just watched right now it's owned by business and it must be run according to business period Church money is never mine, so I've never, I, I don't have, church money is never mine at all. I don't have access to it. Not at all. But if I ever have any cent, I said it's owned by business. And it must be aimed and received through the laws of business and work. So none of them ask me for one cent. They don't. Ask my wife. If you want, you, you clean up, you wash the clothes. You wash mama's clothes. You, 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 I don't, there's a lot of things we say. How much do you want? Daddy, I need 200 rands, okay? We give them a walk. And I make sure that it takes about two weeks to finish that walk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not kidding. Two weeks, tough. So they know that life is not what? Easy. Don't make life easy for your kids. Because out there is not easy. They will waste your money. By the time you pass on, or if you're ever going to pass on, they will waste that money. Don't just, because they didn't, know, they didn't know how hard you worked, how tired you were, how sleepless you worked to end those monies. They will waste it. Be careful how you raise. You see, kids are in your hands to program. The failure of your kids are traceable to you, trust me. Either they are genetically infused, or you didn't introduce them to God, or you didn't train them to understand the values of money making, company owning, and the difference between wealth and wages.